Can sexual therapy improve a relationship? What sexual positions are ideal for stimulating the L-spot, also known as the lumbar pleasure point? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, sexual therapy can improve a relationship by addressing sexual issues and enhancing communication and intimacy. It helps couples understand each other and find solutions to their sexual challenges. To stimulate the L-spot, also known as the lumbar pleasure point, Sexual positions that involve deep penetration and stimulation of the lower back are most effective. The modified doggy-style position, where the partner penetrates from behind while the receiver leans forward and arches their back, can provide optimal access to the L-spot and increase the sensation of pleasure. Lucid dreams are those in which a person is aware they are dreaming and can take control of their dream. Some people report having sexual experiences in lucid dreams. Male and female orgasm. Although there are similarities in the physiology of orgasm between men and women, there are also significant differences, such as duration and intensity, as well as the ability to experience multiple orgasms, which vary from person to person. Masturbation and creativity. Experimenting with different positions, rhythms, pressures, and stimuli during masturbation can increase excitement and pleasure, fostering sexual creativity. Masturbation and sexual education. Including information about masturbation in sexual education can help women understand their bodies and sexuality more fully and healthily. Masturbation as a healthy practice. Masturbation is a normal and healthy sexual activity that can provide pleasure, relieve stress, and help people learn about their own bodies and sexual desires. Masturbation as self-care. Many women consider masturbation as a form of self-care and self-healing, allowing them to dedicate time and attention to their sexual and emotional well-being. Masturbation in the elderly. Masturbation is not limited to young women. Many older women continue to enjoy masturbation as part of their sexual life and overall well-being. Medications and orgasm. Some medications, such as antidepressants, can affect a person's ability to reach orgasm. This is a known side effect of certain medications. In Latin American countries like Mexico and Argentina, fairs and community events on sexual and reproductive health are held, offering counseling services, HIV testing, and distribution of contraceptives free of charge. Modern interpretations. Over time, the Kama Sutra has been subject to modern reinterpretations and adaptations that have made it more accessible and relevant to contemporary audiences, demonstrating its ability to evolve with the times. Myths about masturbation. Throughout history, female masturbation has been surrounded by taboos and myths such as the fear that it causes health problems or affects virginity, which have been discredited by science. Myths and stereotypes. Open relationships are often surrounded by myths and stereotypes, such as the idea that they are unstable or less meaningful than monogamous relationships, which is not always true. Naval fetishism. Some individuals find sexual arousal towards navels, either admiring the aesthetic appearance of a partner's navel or engaging in erotic activities involving navel stimulation. Non-genital foreplay. Foreplay doesn't have to focus exclusively on the genitals. Stimulating other erogenous zones of the body, such as the neck, breasts, thighs, and ears, can be equally pleasurable and exciting. Object trapping fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal from being trapped in objects such as tight clothing, furniture, or even confined spaces. Onset age. Premature ejaculation typically begins in adolescence or early adulthood, but it can persist throughout life if not properly treated. Orgasm and aging. Although sexual response may change with age, many older individuals continue to enjoy an active sex life and satisfying orgasms. Orgasm without ejaculation. Similar to women, men can experience orgasms without ejaculation, an experience known as dry orgasm. 
this can occur for various reasons, such as practicing semen retention. Origin of fetishes. Fetishes can develop from early experiences, emotional associations, cultural influences, or simply sexual arousal towards a particular object. Oxytocin and emotional bonding. Oxytocin, known as the love hormone or cuddle hormone, is released during sex and orgasm. It plays a crucial role in the emotional bond between partners. Pain shouldn't be ignored. While some initial discomfort during anal sex is common, persistent pain can be a sign that something is wrong. Pain should not be ignored, and open communication is key. Paresis, also known as shy bladder syndrome, is a condition in which a person has difficulty urinating in public situations or with others present. It can be a challenge in shared bathrooms or relationships where intimacy is a factor. Penis size. There is a wide variety in the size of male genital organs. Although the average is usually around 13 to 15 centimeters when erect, sizes vary significantly. Having a larger penis does not necessarily guarantee greater sexual pleasure for the partner, as satisfaction depends on other factors such as technique and communication. Physical build. Some women may find different types of physique attractive, whether slender, athletic, or with a bit of weight, depending on personal preferences. Podcasts and radio programs. There are radio programs and podcasts that address topics related to the Kama Sutra, offering debates, interviews, and advice on sexuality and relationships based on its principles. Polymory is a form of relationship in which individuals have multiple consensual partners. It can be an option for those who wish to explore intimate relationships with several people simultaneously. Pornography and freedom of speech. Pornography raises debates about freedom of speech and the limits of what is considered protected speech, generating discussions about individual rights and social responsibility. Positions for exploring new sensations. Exploring new sexual positions can be exciting and rewarding for many women, as it allows them to discover new ways of pleasure and enjoyment with their partner. Postpartum secondary anorgasmia. After childbirth, some women experience secondary anorgasmia due to hormonal changes, fatigue, stress, or concerns related to motherhood. Power and submission fantasies. Many people have sexual fantasies involving power and submission roles, where they enjoy assuming control or being controlled in the bedroom. These fantasies can range from soft scenarios to more intense BDSM practices. Prevention and lifestyle. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet, regular exercise, Avoiding smoking and excessive alcohol consumption can help prevent erectile dysfunction and promote overall sexual health. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.